Hello everybody, this is uh, Seabiscuit joining you here at the Master Biscuit channel. Today we're going to be playing Avorian Beta. We're going to be starting a new game here guys, starting from the very beginning. I just grabbed my gamepad, forgetting that you actually have to use your mouse and keyboard. So, what is Avorian? Avorian is a game that you get to create your own spaceship, make your own adventure, chart your own course. Whatever it is you want to do. And with this game, you get to make your own capital ships, your own fleets, and travel the stars fighting pirates and aliens who also have their own weirdly designed and crazy ships. You can play this in multiplayer. You can also play this as a single player. I have actually tried to record this several times now, but have yet to be successful. We're going to give it a very clever name. Are you guys ready for this? Ready for this clever name? If you thought it was just going to be Galaxy, you're wrong. It's Galaxy 1. There we go. All right, so it finally loaded. And this is the little starter ship that you get. It's not really a ship. It's more like a... Well, it's, it's definitely a ship, but this is a little starter craft that you get. It's it's very, very tiny. doesn't really offer any protection or anything. I don't think NPCs will shoot at you as long as you have this little vessel. And on the top and bottom, you see those moving appendages? Those are actually the mining lasers, so that you can actually get the material necessary to build your actual ship. So today, I'm going to teach you some pro strategies to mining. That's right, this is Mining Simulator 2017. So what you're looking for are, are rocks similar to that one that's directly in front of me. I just locked onto it, it's an asteroid. Looking for those. Let me see what this one is. But you want, you want to get as much of this as possible. I'm going to start making my ship around 10,000. Um, or, I guess, Right now I don't have any. You also start off with, I think 10,000 money or credits, whatever the credits are called, whatever the, the, the currency is called. We're just gonna get to this. This thing is also quite slow, only being able to go around 3,000 meters per second. One of the other things you want to look for while you're starting this game it is to turn off the tutorial as soon as I it's shift it's shift okay don't show this again get this out of my face you want to look for giant asteroids that look because you can get those things and sell them for money it looks like there might be one right there uh, that's not one we'll look for it later so this is how mining works it's really simple you go up to it hold on these things aren't close enough you go up to it and then you just shoot it you just you just shoot it you just you just shoot it with your mining lasers. And then eventually, after some time, some time, any time now, there, no, nope, no, nope, never mind. Yeah, they'll break off like that. Now, whenever you start this game, your mining lasers efficiency is really low. And the efficiency is how much of the resource you actually get. Um, in the bottom of the screen here, let me actually use the mouse. I don't know if you can see the mouse, but down here, you can actually see how much titanium is actually in this asteroid. And this one is 4,484. I'm not going to get anywhere near that because I am using, I'm using iron mining lasers with this thing. Which is going to give it less efficiency and also going to make it take longer to mine it. Later on, you will get different mining lasers depending, and your mining lasers will will change its efficiency at destroying asteroids and how much resource you'll actually get from it, which is which is just great. But this will give me the time, the opportunity to actually just talk to you guys. So you can know what Master Biscuit Gaming's about, like why did we start the channel and all that crazy goodness. I mean, or are you just here for the solid gameplay and you don't really care why we're doing this. Well, to be honest, uh, we haven't been able to keep up with Master Biscuit Gaming like we have wanted to over the past few years. Whenever I, me and my cousin, uh, Master Democles started the Master Biscuit Gaming channel. And original channel, which is just Master Biscuit Productions. I believe it's just Master Biscuit. Um, it's just the name of it. I'll have a link to that. We only have like one video or two videos, including one test video on there. So, you know, if you guys want to watch a music video, some guys who don't know how to sing or rap at all, 
then you can check that out. But we started the we started the channel pretty much as a joke for my cousin's uh for my cousin's sake. And whenever you oh there is one in here. This is one of those giant asteroids that I was talking about right here. You can you can claim these things and you can uh sell them for money and then you'll have money. Now it used to be whenever you went out like this, it's, it had its own little map, but now it looks like they gotten rid of that. Maybe. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, let's fly over there. But yeah, we started the channel uh, pretty much as a joke for him, as like a joke channel for him. And eventually we just tried to make it into our actual channel. As you can see from the first video we had was actually a video for his girlfriend at the time. Um, in which we actually sung a song for her for her birthday or something. I don't remember why we actually did it. Anyways, it was fun. We tried to make other videos, including another music video, but things just kind of fell through as we all got jobs. We we're in college and everything. So I just recently was let's claim this. And this is how this is all you do. You just claim it, then you sell it. Sell the asteroid. And I will get seventy-nine thousand yada yadas for it. But I'll also get reputation. And reputation is important. Because the more reputation you have with the faction, the less they'll charge you for stuff uh that, that faction produces or sells. And the more they'll buy stuff from you. And if your reputation get too low, they'll stop selling you things or they'll even attack you. But right now, the entire goal is to mine. I'm not going to stop fast enough, am I? Okay, I stopped fast enough. Oh, just, just barely. But I was just given inspiration to continue the YouTube channel just recently because of a, a, a guy, his, um, a guy whose channel, what's his channel's name? Gray Still Plays. That guy has a full-time job that he can't talk about and wife and kids, or I don't know if he has kids, but he has a wife and everything. And he still manages to post just about every day, if not every day. And I was just like, man, I can do that because I do like YouTube and I do feel as though you have the potential to make a good channel here and to get a good community going. You know, give other people some enjoyment from watching me and my colleagues fail at playing video games. I'm going to try to start posting videos every day. I do play video games quite regularly, so I guess I'll just be recording those games that I have and see if if I can actually supplement some of my now the, the right now the videos will probably be irregular I am bulk recording right now because I'm going to be having to work uh, this week and everything so I am going to try to do a bulk recording session um, probably once a week in which I'll play multiple games And just put those out uh, one day, one every day a week. This will allow for me to be able to actually do YouTube and continue to work on all the other stuff I have to do, which is quite a bit. So enough about that. Now let's get back to the game, to this, to this game. What you guys are actually here for. You guys aren't here to hear about my story. So, I mean, all we're doing right now is mining, so I guess I could just continue to talk about my story. You know, come up with a, a story for this, for this lone captain and his dinghy. The thing is, you want to get enough money so that's uh, enough uh, resources so that you can make a ship. That's like the first thing you want to do. After you make your ship, you want to get... Let me actually open it. Let me show you guys. So this is the map. 
As you can see, we're starting off down here in this small little section. Now this map is huge. It's humongous. Because as you can see, each one of these tiny squares is like where we are right now. Each one of those is its own small, possibly um, procedurally generated map area. Now, not each one of these has um, anything in it. You have this. You have these right here, which have the unknown energy sources, which actually have something. Everything else is kind of blank space. And then you have see this line. That's going to another place where an unknown energy source. But this is actually a warp zone, which means that somebody actually has a gate here, and you can travel through that gate, but you have to pay for it to the to whatever faction owns the gate. Or you can actually put in, you can actually outfit your ship with the jump capabilities. Now you can't upgrade the ship that I'm currently in. This thing is just just here so that you can get the resources necessary to actually make your first ship. Which I will, I am going to try to do in a little while. Now our first ship isn't going to be anything special, but as I get more resources, we will be upgrading that ship. And sticking with it, adding more on to it, until we finally have a ship worth talking about. A ship worth bringing home to your mama's house. That's right, we want a real ship. We don't want a hit and quit ship. Now, I would show you all the ship that I had before in my other game, because I have played this quite a bit before in the past. But unfortunately, that's on my computer, and for recording, I have to use my cousin's computer. But I don't um I don't think there's a way that you can actually transfer over ship files. If you can, do let me know. So I guess now is a better time than any to talk about the stations. So all those little blips. Oh, where's my ship? Oh, okay, the, the little the little check marks on it. So all these little stations, um, all those little blips on my screen that you guys can see around the corners and whatnot, are different stations that you can go to. And in order to actually do anything at those stations, that's a freighter. To actually do anything at those stations, you actually have to dock at those stations. Except for that one, I can actually use utilize this one here. And whenever you actually build your ship, which is a cool aspect of this game, you have to get the crew necessary to, to use that ship. I mean, you're just one guy. You're just a captain. So you can't do everything. I can right now because, you know, I'm in like a little one-person ship right now but whenever you build up your ship you actually got to get crew you actually have to pay your crew and if your ship takes damage and pieces blow get blown up or fall off of it because of crashing or whatever you can actually lose members of your crew to the ether where they will be swallowed up uh, swallowed up by the unrelenting space and then you'll lose them you have to replace those guys and you might be wondering, what happens if you don't have uh, a full crew? Well, depending on which members of your crew is missing, like there's engineers, gunners, miners, uh, generalized crew, uh, the captain, captains, because you can have a fleet. Uh, what else is there? Uh, sergeants and lieutenants and whatnot. Also generals, depending on the size. Depending on who's missing will we'll determine what in your ship will go wrong. Let's say that you don't have enough uh, engineers. Well, then your engines won't work correctly. They'll, you'll actually be slower. If you don't have enough maintenance workers, your ship will slowly deteriorate. If you don't have the generals and whatnot, then your ship won't be as efficient. Yeah, I don't think you can take damage whenever you're in this thing, because that should have blown me up. Mining Simulator 2017. How to mine space rocks. A lot of this game is the grind, but after you get to a certain level, after you get to a certain point, then the game just becomes exploration and finding things and and building up your arsenal or your fleet. My cousin was never really my I keep saying my cousin, but I mean um Master Democles was never really big on fleets because of how you had to micromanage them. I personally don't mind it. 
because it makes this part easier. Because when you have your own fleet, you can make them mine for you. You can make them fight for you if you want to. And then you're just pretty much the capital ship. And you can also switch in between uh, your ships. The one thing about this game that I didn't particularly like whenever it came to fleet management, it wasn't the fact that you had to micromanage it, it was the fact that the ship doesn't recognize, uh, the AI doesn't recognize that you put all the weapons on one side of your ship, or all the mining lasers on one side of your ship, so that it will utilize or aim at that particular target. Instead, it just kind of hovers around the target. So, it is a chance that it won't have the, the sight with the guns pointed at whatever your whatever you want it to attack or whatever you want it to mine. Which to me is strange because of how the game puts you in this kind of view, which points you forward. So, you would think that the, it would want your AI or that it would know that you want your AI to do the same thing. Was that my phone? It was my phone. Let me turn that. Let me turn that off. I'm recording right now. Gosh. There we go. Almost almost 3,000 3, iron. So what I'm actually going to do, eventually pirates will come to this sector. And whenever they come, I don't know if this place has any defense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have this thing construct the base of the ship. So whenever it comes to making your ship, you need a shipyard, which is what I just clicked on. Um, and it'll give you something like this that you can use to be the base design for your ship. I don't do that. I just do single block. I don't need a captain or a crew. And it's going to be this style. It's going to be iron because that's what I have the most of. But I can actually go ahead and make it titanium because I have some titanium. And then press build. Oh, wait, I need a name. So we're going to call this one the SS. Oh, caps lock is on. SS Thunder. Thunder. Build. All right, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to make that block. And from that, I can, I can build my ship. 